Hey, what's happening, guys? What I got for you today is this super cool 10.1 inch uh, API capacitive touchscreen HDMI monitor that has, as you can see going around the edge here, the, um, I don't know what you call them, ambient, ambient lighting, and I'm adjusting them up here for different patterns and you can see the LEDs are all the way around it including on the back they can be controlled with this little jog wheel here they can be turned off on and there's another switch for backlight you see that we can adjust it up and down this is all very cool, and it's from Elecro. So let me uh, turn the lights back on, and we'll take a better look at it. So like I said, this is from Elecro, and it is called the Meteor Screen. Like I said, 10.1 inch. And here is from their, uh, their details. It is an IPS HD 1280 by 800 resolution, 178 degrees full viewing angle, has backlight control. RGB water lights on the back create a cool atmosphere. 19 types of customized LED flow mode can be switched. Now, since this is HDMI, it is compatible with just HDMI. It's compatible with just about everything, including Raspberry Pi, which is what I'm using it for. I'll show you in a minute. Windows, Linux, whatever you need. It has a 10-point capacitive touch, so you can do things click, press, zoom in, zoom out. With three buttons, you can adjust the screen. Those are up here. You have the uh, the little jog wheel thing here. All very cool. So let's move in a little bit closer, and I'll give you a better view of this. As we get started today, I'd like to say a special hello to my friend Dwayne from East Liverpool, Ohio. Hi, Dwayne. So you can see here, it comes with these really cool... little legs so that you can stand it up kind of have a freestanding kiosk kind of deal but you don't have to use them and if we look here on the back you can see that it has a mounting built in for a raspberry pi or anything else that would uh that would meet those whole diameters which are what are they let's let's figure that out one second, please. Let me do old calipers here. This looks like 47.8. Oh, careful there, Paul. Don't want to be shorting anything out. by 57 so anything that will fit that whole pattern will fit you just fine now you can see this is made I'm guessing this was a 3d printed thing we've got the LCD up here and then we've got a 3d printed looks like a spacer platform possibly and then we have this clear layer that has our LEDs mounted to it now my HDMI cable is kind of in the way there but I don't know how well you can see that you can see it says mode RGB on off backlight and RGB you can see all the different modes it has here I feel like they missed an opportunity to put one more LED right here now there's no room here because we've got this cutout but yeah very cool now let's see, I didn't hook up the, uh, the touch sensor. Let's hook that up. One second, please. The reason I didn't hook it up was I had a little trouble booting this thing this morning. It worked fine yesterday when I was putting all this together, but today, not so much. Now, it gets its power from 
a standard phone charger, which is this cable right here. Make sure everything is still copacetic. And we'll plug her in. Let's see what we get. There we go. So as you can see, touch screen seems to be working good. Let's get this uh mounted up here. That's what we were watching. Now, what I'm using to type is one of these little keyboards here. Simply because my giant sausage fingers can't hit these little buttons. Oh, we're having a little trouble with the uh, with the touch screen there. So now I should be able to drag, move. Well, I wasn't trying to do that, but okay. And I closed it. <laughs> so yeah, it's got the 10 touch touchscreen thing. Very cool. Lots of neat features. I'll put a link down below where you can check this out. But let's go over to the computer and we'll have a look at their... Uh, their website on this okay we are on the uh, Elecro site here and like I said I'll put a link to this down below this is the Meteor screen 10.1 inch IPS capacitive touchscreen with RGB animated lights it sells for $109.90 US um, ships from China unless you can find somebody here in the US who has one I got ridiculously fast shipping so your your uh, your mileage may vary. There gives you some ideas. Here we have some specs. IPS HD 1280 by 800, 178 degrees. That's what I read to you earlier. Green HDMI, blah, blah, blah. systems. Toughened glass panel. I'm not sure exactly what that means, whether it's Gorilla Glass or not. All the different things you can do, tap, press, zoom out, zoom in, mouse click. There's the lights, all the different systems work. Oh, I never even thought about it. That would work as a little monitor for portable gaming. Oh, that could be cool. Some specs on how to connect it. And then, like you saw, my Raspberry Pi was connected here as well. There's the uh, controls. You can see here we have the power, which is in uh, USB micro. Same for the touch sensor, USB micro. Uh, panel brightness, 300 candles per meter squared. Contrast, 700 to 1, 1280 by 800. It needs 5 volts, 2 amps. That's why I said it can run off your basic uh, phone charger. 5.29 watts at full power. There you go, 6H, I don't know what that means. Net weight 540 grams. It uses the 3535 LEDs. Yeah, very cool. Well, I would like to thank Elecro for sending this out free of charge for our consideration. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And if you have uh, any comments, feel free to leave them down below. Check out the Patreon page, $1 a month's all I ask. Helps me, uh, pay the bills and get some interesting toys for us to play with. All right, guys, that's it. I'm out. Peace.